Hello and welcome. If you're new to my channel, my name is Catherine and I love thrift sailing. I go to thrift sales and estate sales and different places to find vintage things, especially things that I'm collecting or that I know are collectibles. Um, but that's not what this video is about. This video today is about milk glass, all about milk glass. So we're going to um, look into the history of milk glass. We're going to go into what milk glass is exactly. We're going to go into um, how to identify milk glass and some of the markers that you'll see on the bottom of milk glasses but milk glass is one of those things that doesn't have to be signed so don't be surprised if you don't see um, signed milk glass and we're going to go into how is milk glass valuable because I know that that's the, that's the question on a lot of our minds um, so stay tuned this is gonna be an awesome video and I'm so excited to be uh, going over with with it with you Okay, so milk glass's history spans through several um, centuries. Um, it was originally created by the uh, um, in Italy, in Venice, Italy, in the 16th century. But then it kind of gains popularity during the Victorian era because they realized that it looks a lot like porcelain and it can be made a lot cheaper. So that's when we see all the different types of milk glass that we see today, the iterations of it, the vases, the banana um, plates, the, the cake stands. Those were all like Victorian era inventions and uses for milk glass. Um, so then after that, um, it becomes um, you know, quasi popular again, like during the depression era, the 1940s had several um, pretty nice iterations of um, milk glass. And then um, again, um, at post World War II, it became popular again. And now of course, um, everyone's loving it. So um, let's go a little bit into what exactly milk glass is and how to identify it next. What is milk glass? Milk glass is not quite opaque, it's not quite clear, it's not quite translucent um, glass. And I think of it as like if I, if I poured myself a glass of water and then I poured milk into it and the substance that I get is like not quite clear, it's not quite, you know, it's kind of cloudy. That's milk glass. Um, and it can come in a variety of colors, although we think of the milky milk glass when we, when we think of it normally, the white milky milk glass. But it can come in blues, yellows, pinks, greens. Um, I have a beautiful set of black milk glass downstairs, which I'll show you. And um, it can also come in a variety of different shapes. One of the most beautiful forms of milk glass is the hobnail milk glass that was made by Fenton that I just absolutely adore. Um, I'll show you some examples of that. And um, it can come also uh, quilted. There's so many different types of awesome shapes and, and fun patterns on milk glass. Um, some of the popular ways that we see it are we see vases and um, banana stands, cake stands. Um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking of all the different things and I'll insert them. Pictures, anything can really be made of milk glass. Um, so there are a couple things that you're going to need to know about milk glass if you want to identify it or start collecting. Number one, milk glass is not always signed. In fact, a majority of my milk glass is not signed. Um, it didn't start getting signed, supposedly according to bloggers that I've read, until around the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. But um, this little nesting hen is true milk glass. I was wondering whether or not it was, but it's true. I held it up to light, which I'm going to teach you how to do. And it is true milk glass. But if you look on the bottom, it's not signed. Most of my milk glass, again, is not signed. I have genuine milk glass from a five and dime from my grandmother from way back when, again, not signed. The other thing about milk glass that usually when, when I think of something that's fake, I think of seams and like um, just things like looking as though they were put together shoddily. I mean, I hate to say shoddily, but, um, but milk glass, since it's like I said, either hand blown or it's molded, when it's molded, it has seams. Like you will see seams. For example, on this adorable, again, unmarked, but this starburst is usually Fostoria. 
on this unmarked uh, creamer from the 1940s in the quilted pattern. It's got a seam right here because obviously it was molded. And I mean, it's seamed. So you can tell this is, this is real milk glass. I'm promising you that, but it's got a big seam right in the middle. So many companies have made milk glass over the years, but the most important, the most popular ones are going to be Federal, Fastoria, uh, Fenton, Imperial, Indiana Glass Company, and Westmoreland Glass. And these are the signatures or the marks that on the bottom for each of these companies. But like I said, most milk glass is not marked anyhow. Please. The most foolproof easy way to identify your milk glass is to take the item that you believe to be milk glass to hold it up to the light like I'm doing and to look inside of it and if inside you see what they call a ring of fire and I'll insert a picture as to what they mean if you see a ring of fire or just you know this red green it could even be um pink light that it's giving off then that means that it's true milk glass if you hold it up to the the um the light and you don't see that but you see that it's a bit translucent that you can see through it which i can see right now then guess what it's milk glass those are the two easiest ways to tell whether or not it is because like i said most of it's not going to be signed most of it's kind of kind of going to look a little fake to you so that's the most foolproof way to figure out whether your item is true milk glass so as far as value goes, the biggest value on any milk glass item are, are going to be the Victorian items, the old items. And I'll show you a few examples of that here. Um, there was a Victorian um, barber bottle that recently went for 120 and I saw that on um, someone's blog. Um, also, you know, perfume bottles, those types of Victorian items, there's people that collect them and that specifically go out looking for that and they're hard to find. So if you do find one of those things, I mean, you can make a great profit on something like that. But for the most part, milk glass is not something that genu genuinely sells for a lot of money. Um, I have a little milk glass creamer, which I'll insert a a photo of it here. I showed you it before actually. And I've had that up online for nine dollars and it's it's not worth nine. I should really be selling it for like five or six, but because of fees and everything like that, I would wind up owing, you know, the the uh Poshmark money for, for that. But um that's just a little example of milk glass not being worth much. Here's another example. This is um glass bake. It kind of looks like Pyrex. I mean I kind of always thought that it was Pyrex, but nope glass bake and this is an example of milk glass and like this if it was pyrex would i don't even know how much it would go for it'd be expensive but this because it's glass bake it's going to go for less than 20 so just not as good of a name brand and um it's quite funny like there's a lot of debate about uh about glass bake out there in the uh the blogosphere but um so not not going to sell for that much. I'm also going to show you another example of something that is not selling for very much and it's milk glass. So um, my other example of milk glass just not selling for very much are these um, lattice plates. Um, if you put up the pic, I'll put up a picture of this plate with a design in the middle. Those guys are going for $20, $30, $40. These plain plates are going for about $12 but it's supply and demand. I just haven't seen, um, or I've seen the same ones up online over and over again, which tells me that they're probably not selling. So um, that's, that's most likely what's happening because everything is supply and demand and milk glass just isn't um, as popular as it could be right now to be demanding high prices. So that's really what's going on with that. Um, if you ever find one of these nesting hens, I bought this one for $5 and these are going for like, you know, $12 online, this particular one. But if you find a different color or a different variation or one that um, looks, you know, just a bit more unique than the plain white milk glass one, those are going for $30. You know, you name your price. So um, 
again, the most popular as far as like selling milk glass goes are going to be like the colored things. And if you find those and find some comps, those are, those are going to go for a bit. But if you're collecting, like I think that now is just a great time to like find as much milk glass as you possibly can because um, it's a good time to collect. So anyway, this is the end of our video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope that you had a fun time. I know that I did and please remember to like the video and subscribe and we'll see you next time.